Will ye get the Uzi and Cardi status? That's a good question. I don't know. Chat, let me know what you think first while I contemplate this. Because already, of course, we've seen Yeet's success. He's on Rap Caviar. He's had some big songs on TikTok. He's dropped hella projects. But I don't know if he's actually had like a hit single yet to the same degree as say, I'm not even talking about EXO Toy Life because that's like mega star. Cause, Cause Cardi doesn't even have an EXO Toy Life just yet. But we're, like we have to equate something similar to Magnolia which you got to get like a hundred million streams on within a couple years at least and i don't know if yeet's got that just yet his biggest song is what uh money so big and that's actually almost to a hundred million the internet just works so differently now that i don't know if uh and, and the rap game is so segregated that it's it's hard because before in the in music it was the barrier to entry was so large to actually get popping like you need to get a co-sign you need to sign to a label that's why the soundcloud era in 2016 was so revolutionary because it was mostly organic a lot of people blew up just because of their sound rather than their co-signs now you can argue one way or another based on you know like uzi technically was an industry plan because he got signed before he was really big to dj drama and don cannon they helped produce all of his uh 2015 love is rage and up up until love is rage 2. Um, I don't know if Yeet is as unique as like Cardi and Uzi, but time will tell. It's really hard to tell, but Yeet definitely got a lock on the game right now. Like what did, uh, I don't even know if they were doing first week sales. Actually they were, what did, what did Playboy Cardi self-titled sell? Cause that'll be an indicator. Uh, first week sales. Let's check this shit. Not Discord. <laughs> so self-titled sold 28k. Technically speaking, the, well, it was a mixtape, so it didn't get promoted as heavily. But technically speaking, like, uh, and it had Uzi on it. Yeet sold more with Two Alive, but the thing with Cardi is this was his like first official project. So it's just different times. It's hard to actually compare. And shout out Fibwee for the for the uh, the donation. But yeah, there was no TikTok. Like again, I told y'all it was more. It was more or actually now is pretty organic too like i feel like yeet really created a fan base on his own of course he got the cosigns from autumn summers can can slay world and then started like boosting up his numbers the all the producers he's worked with benji cold trgc uh etc etc but i don't know and i think yeet is mainstream I don't know why you're saying that he's not. He was literally playing at the NFL draft, which I think is uh, pretty mainstream. It depends on what you what you consider mainstream because there's like different levels. Like, of course, he's not a Jack Harlow, but like neither is Cardi currently. Cardi's Cardi's not as big as Jack Harlow. So. Thirty four thousand. Look, if you if the reason I say that he's mainstream to a certain extent and I obviously, you know, like bella wouldn't know who the fuck it, my girlfriend would not know who the fuck yeet is without me but the fact that his song is on rap caviar like i feel like that's that's pretty close or like you're you're mainstream like you're you're on your way there you know drake posted him on instagram story right uh what else he sold 34k he literally sold with like very little promo more than some mainstream acts such as Coil Array or I don't know who else. Who 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 else did he sell? Like what did 5 EO foreign sell? Five 
Didn't he sell less, like 25K? And he had a Kanye feature, bro. Like, of course, again, it's not like Kanye level mainstream, but like, what is mainstream? You gotta set parameters and maybe we have different definitions and that's okay. Like there's mainstream in like actual publicity. Like, is he a, is Yeet a celebrity? No, but I'd say he's like a, he's a mainstream rapper in the genre of hip hop. Like if you're a hip hop enthusiast, you know who Yeet is. Whereas like some of these other underground rappers, like I would think that Autumn, like maybe they might not know who Autumn is. You know what I mean? The rap game is a joke then? <laughs> it very well might be. The rap, hip hop is a very fluid and moving culture in that it's going faster and faster. Like before, there were artists, Uzi, Uzi's still here, right? They blew up in 2016. A lot of the artists from 2016 lasted, but a lot of them did not. The recycle rate or the turnover rate for rappers is getting faster and faster. So yes, Ye is doing numbers right now, but we'll see what happens in the next couple of years. And a lot of the rappers in you know the underground right now in the next generation SoundCloud, like I don't know if they will make it to the same level as 2016. It's just harder to make it to the top nowadays because the barrier to entry is so low that like there's so much competition and the internet is so segregated in the sense that like there's so many different subgenres. like you could be a plug and be fan and like strictly listen to autumn and summers and like or or playboy cardi fan and like only listen to his music and all of like the people within his genre of you know vamps or trippy red like that kind of thing or you can be like a rap caviar guy you could listen to little baby and little dirk and, and, and young boy and have complete enough music for the rest of your life that you don't need to listen to anybody else but we have some people in the chat arguing that yeet is mainstream so i'm just gonna say he's mainstream you're saying yeet is here to stay five plus years here's the reason why i think yeet is here to stay because ultimately your brand as a rapper doesn't always come down to your music it comes down to the culture behind it. Uh, I think the reason that Cardi was able to, or a whole lot of red, was able to shift the perception from whole lot of trash, whole lot of skips, whole lot of whatever, to everybody fucking with whole lot of red and influencing a lot of uh, producers and then rappers in the in the coming next generation was because people fucked with him and like all the memes and like similar to what yeet is getting right now with all the memes like even like the met gala shit this picture with yeet at met gala if people are organically making funny pictures of you on the internet on your subreddit and whatever like cardi uzi or whatever like you're here to stay like that's to me the culture is the most important thing behind the artistry because music is so subjective that you know the most trash music to you could be the greatest music to a fan base and they'll like people almost force themselves to like music by artists and you know that's true just like how if an artist is not popular, people would just say the song is mid or garbage. It's just like, that's how humans think. It's not necessarily like, I, I wouldn't say it's the best thing, but it's just human nature to want to, the whole point of music is to share interest with somebody else. Like you're supposed to listen to music with other people, not really by yourself. Or when you're listening to music, it, you're getting communicating to by an, uh, an artist. So it's, it's just a form of communication. But yeah, so if, again, if people are making organically memes of you like this, like you're here to stay. For at least, for at least, I say two, three years. So the fact that organically, and I have some rappers in mind within the next generation right now, I would say they, they probably fallen off or, or I don't know if rappers really fall off nowadays, because if you consistently drop and like, uh, feed your fan base, you'll, you'll still get streams, but 
will they make it to the next level and that's why being mainstream is like a whole nother thing like that's why you sometimes have to get other people involved such as labels because it's hard to get to that next thing like sometimes your music just isn't ne- isn't meant for a broader audience or your youtube videos and i've even accepted that i'm not going to be the biggest youtuber say like lucky lucky has a die hard large fan base in fact but he's kind of hit a ceiling ever since 2015 2016 he's probably getting new fans but like the trajectory has you know capped off a little bit but his music just doesn't appeal to the mainstream because it's very niche but the people who do fuck with it love him and he makes hella money that way so that's all that matters and people are, are saying shut up just to uh because i'm spitting facts here 